Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding Rise of Rebirth. We are on a roll, and I don't want to stop it. We just did our Eden run. Here's our seed. Heh! <laughs> and D9CH. I didn't really have a funny joke for that one, so I just made a funny noise, and you'll be surprised how often that is a reasonable facsimile that it will work for you. Uh, in any case, yeah, our momentum's crazy. Last run, Eden, start with Monster Manuel. First item room. Pick up, uh... Yeah, we'll blow this up right away. Pick up uh, D6, reroll Monster Manuel into Cricket's head, and the rest, as they say, was history. A little disappointed that we didn't actually get the opportunity to execute my master plan of uh, rerolling every single book into the game. We would have only needed one more library to make it work, and I guess I'm probably guilty now that I think about it of skipping like a bunch of rooms to <laughs> finish the run a little faster, so I can understand why it didn't. But in the end, it was a, it was a fun run. It was a great run, and I had a great time doing it. I'm hoping that we get the opportunity to kind of. Ball out of control again, although at the same time, I am conscious and cognizant of the fact that we have had absurd luck probably over the last five or six runs. A couple of the runs on this streak uh, thus far are... Ugh. Jesus, that was terrible. A um, couple of the runs on this streak were very unlikely wins that we managed to pull off through Perseverance or through Luck. Um, just at the end, though, not Luck where we got insane items right off the bat. Um, so if we end up having to, you know, claw our way through this one, then that, it, it happens. I'm not gonna be too mad. I'm hoping that, uh, I feel like I've been asking for this a lot lately, but I'm kinda hoping for Pageant Boy, man. Oh, there goes our freaking spirit heart, don't be an idiot. If we get Pageant Boy, we go to our shop, we buy a, um, another charge, re-roll the crap out of that other item, which I dare not speak its name. And this is a little bit troublesome. Pin on the first floor is not difficult as a fight, but it means that it opens up uh, a second floor cellar to not be pinned. Lighted Ovum, The Haunt, Fistula, Horseman, of course, which might be for the best for us, but uh, means that we'll really be hoping for the basement a little bit more so than usual. Normally, you like, uh, you know, Haunt on the first floor and then Pin on the second floor to give you the best deal with the Devil Chance, but. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, I'll probably do what I always do, or often do, and just head down to the next floor immediately. We probably have like two rooms left, and one of them is going to be a self-sacrifice room. Happens all the time. Coin purse. Could be interesting. Could be awful. Especially with four different ones. Not great. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. That finish there, <laughs> it really seemed a little anticlimactic, but that was very, very important that we got that. Uh, ramming speed is totally not worth picking up. I would love to save my rerolls more than anybody, but it's not good. It, it's meaningless as far as I'm concerned. If we end up using four rerolls and not getting anything, well, shit happens. I'm not just gonna, you know, get big horns on my head for no reason. Let me get fucking kamikaze, right? Of course we do. Better be smarter here. Um, let's go grab this. Come in here. There's no extra charge in here. I didn't get anything out of my donation machine there. Are you touching my butt with your hand and making a gesture like, fuck me? Because that seems a little ridiculous. I really... Oh, if we take Swallowed Penny, we should have done that earlier. Take Swallowed Penny here. And there we go. Watch out for the spider, but that will be uh, a spirit heart for us at least. Very weird way to get that done, I'm not going to deny it. And that might explain why I have no familiarity with it, because I've never done that with Kamikaze before, but... Hey, here we are! We'll head down to the next floor, and uh, certainly this one leaves a little bit to be desired. And Curse of the Blind on the Cellar, when we've already fought Pin, is a very scary situation to be in. Maybe Kamikaze actually was the right choice here, but... We'll find out... Eventually, I'm a little nervous, actually. Seems like the game has brought out uh, its A-game to start with here. Where's our first floor magic mushrooms? Where's our first floor cricket's heads? They're not here, apparently, unless we get one right now, which would make my day... I was gonna say make my day substantially better, then the implications that my day is bad. No, I'm mostly just, you know, playing a bunch of uh, the freaking buttload of Binding of Isaac Rebirth today. That's totally fine by me, that's a good day as far as I'm concerned. Wearing my uh, Canucks jersey, hoping against hope that uh, Willie Mitchell decides to actually play as captains tonight. And by Willie Mitchell, I mean Willie Desjardins. Rotten baby, it's a start. That's uh, it's good enough to feel good about. Willie Mitchell can do whatever he wants. You know, he's a cool dude in my book as well. 
Uh, that is potentially pretty good. I think we're probably... Yeah. We don't have to pick it up before the boss fight, but I'm going to pick it up before the boss fight. The only way I'll regret it fully is if we end up fighting Krampus on our deal with the devil and then we wouldn't have had to do it at all, but... Um, oh, come on. I think this is for the best to take it right away. And we do have a guaranteed de deal with the devil unless we for real mess it up right here. Which is always within the realm of possibility. Oh, the Widow! That is such a good get for us. Even though it's uh, the Black Widow. A little bit more dangerous, maybe. Create spiders instead of nubs. Which is, is more dangerous because they're more mobile. It cuts down more of the space for us, which is bad because... Um, the, the Widow is already very mobile itself, but okay, that was probably a really lucky get in terms of the bosses we could have fought. Experimental treatment, lower our HP, maybe a better rate of fire, gotta take it. Guppy's Paw. I'm gonna convert, I need the extra HP I think right now, then we'll hope for 9 lives. Satanic Bible, I mean, it's not so bad. We can, we can live with it. As much as I would love to just head down to the next floor, uh, I... Man, our range is pretty bad. Maybe that experimental treatment was a range down. Um, that's that's all right. This floor has been all right. Rotten baby, a guppy item. Guppy's been a huge source of our power. We are gonna try the curse room for a multitude of different reasons. Uh, oh, guppy's head. I'm coming for you. I know that people are gonna be unhappy about this, but at the same time, the guppy dream is alive. We're gonna be hoping for maybe a bomb here to access that uh, tinted rock. Oh, it's all coming up. All right, it's all coming back to me now. Let's do this. Oh my God, there's a freaking crawl space associated with it as well. And uh, more keys, more keys, more keys, more money. And I changed my mind. And I would now like an increasing selection of smaller chests, endlessly until it's all around us. Full charge. Okay, we actually can get a charge here. Why do we care about that charge? Uh, I think it's pretty obvious that... Oh, I think it's pretty obvious that what we're going to want to do... Is there a spirit heart in here? No. What we're going to want to do is head in uh, to our curse room again. Reroll Guppy's paw. It, we're Guppy. Fucking second floor Guppy. Day is the best day of my life. <laughs> Ooh, that uh, easily could have gone a different way. But man, oh man, is that a great star. We are going to have crazy flies. We're going to be flying, which is crazy. There's all sorts of shenanigans and, uh, you know, other stuff going on. This is fantastic. Check here for a second secret room. I went lower. Maybe should have gone upper deck. It happens, man. We could have also saved our reroll for that devil room. That would have been the smarter choice, in theory. <laughs> That's not me bragging. Me becoming Guppy there was the result of a dumb choice that worked out in an un unlikely but incredibly lucky fashion. So, we're Guppy again, and we uh, just, yeah, drop a dime for us. Just give, uh, just give me whatever I need to win the run whenever I ask for it. Not that I'm resenting it, I'm just saying... I, it, it really feels like I can do no wrong in Rebirth today, and this is exciting. It's the kind of day that makes you just want to play more Rebirth. I just want to play Rebirth all day. Uh, because I know that, you know, when I wake up, uh, Cinderella's gonna turn into a pumpkin again, and it's not gonna be, you know, we're gonna be missing the magic or something like that, and, you know, we should temper our enthusiasm by saying that this is not a guaranteed one run. I've lost Guppy runs before. Numerous occasions, probably. Just due to an enormous sample size, especially, but, uh, I, it's looking real, real good here so far. Especially with the D6, makes it super unlikely that we just get hit with the, um, you know, shitty item curse and never pick up anything. We have a deal with the Devil Precedent. And we have a deal with the Devil Precedent and we don't need to trade our HP for shitty guppy items if we don't want them anymore. We have as many shippy, shippy, shitty guppy items as is necessary. Infestation is a bad item and we have the luxury of rerolling it. Might prefer to hit up our Devil Room first, but considering it's apparently an XL floor, uh, we should have a lot of opportunities to get other rerolls. Book of Sin is going to be our earlier priority because it's not a... Uh, oh, so good. It's not a uh, passive. I prefer Virus to uh, Infestation, actually. I don't think either of them are particularly strong, but um, I do think the Virus is a little bit better. That was a, like, fucking laser beam of a poop right there. I say we go fight our first boss while we're here, and yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to have the orb. 
What a great shot. Pestilence has been at the firing range, man. He's been hitting me with all these amazing shots lately. Um, we'll, we'll be happy to take our orbital right now and uh, not go fight the other boss immediately because we'll have to have or would like to have a deal with the devil stored up. Totally fine. I'm just happy we were able to go to both of our item rooms on this floor. And that's an extra nine cents for us that I'm not going to complain about either. I mean, how can I complain about anything on this run? Might have looked the slightest bit spotty at the start uh, with the lemon mishap into Isaac's Jar of Tears into Kamikaze. I forget which one was there in the middle. Something that wasn't... Oh, it, ramming speed, right. The worst passive, potentially. We'll go back for that in just a moment here. We didn't get Guppy's Tail. I'm kind of surprised to see so many golden chests. We got Paw Head Collar. Yeah. Maybe we got the tail. This is like a surprising amount of, uh, of golden chests for not having the collar. Try opening this one because we don't have to fight anything for it. And you know what? I'm always happy to take Bob's brain. Especially if I can fly. I can put myself away from the enemies. I will end up hitting myself with this. The question is, is the damage that I take from hitting myself with it worth the... Uh, the enemies that it'll kill, the speed that it'll help me kill bosses, and I think the answer is most of the time, no, but I take it anyway. Not maybe the best uh, reasoning for most people, but it's the reasoning I'm going to use here. Five bombs has me wanting to blow up mushrooms, but I know the game's going to give me magic mushroom either way, apparently, so... I don't need to sweat it too much. There we go, land that Bob's brain shot, and that's where I really like it. Helping us get halfway through Mega Fatty without even... Coming close to breaking a sweat thus, fl thus far. Our flies helping out as well. Gotta go to our shop on this floor if we can, because a hive mind pickup is just like... It's like picking up Polyphemus, basically. It's it's so valuable. Speed and range? Absolutely. I don't need the range, uh, but the speed is going to help me out here. I was already pretty fast, but it's always nice to be a little faster. Got another book there in Monster Manuel. Not an enormous fan of... Uh, that... But you gotta do what you gotta do. We'll come through to our big room. Just make sure we don't Bob's Brain ourselves right off the bat. If we can Bob's Brain an enemy right off the bat, that's a totally different story. Oop! I saw you in time to say oop, but not in time to get out of the way, apparently. Which raises all sorts of questions about what my brain prioritizes on a regular basis. And yeah, Petrified Poop. I mean, Swallowed Penny is, is okay with Bob's Brain. I would expect to hit myself with it a couple of times and... You know, run into problems, but it comes down to mostly the fact that we don't need to worry about money that much, and this is a little bit more reliable anyway, so... I doubt we'll find a situation where we'll be like, I need 30 cents! So I think this is a better call for us. Uh, we need a key to get into our shop. That's just, I mean, it's obvious, but... It's important to remember as we're on our way over there. Because the extra key might make all the difference. Actually, you know what? We might not need a key. If we can just uh, bomb our way in, but is that a likely candidate for a secret room there? It actually really is. That's unfortunate. What about this one? No, not even on that side either, huh? Um, wouldn't be over there. Might still get lucky if it like super loops around down here, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. I actually shot that one looking at it and being like, that's not going to hit me. So that one's on me for sure. Let's see what we got inside of our shop now. This is not a shop, this is a library that has the Bible on it. High Priestess, Empress. We'll take uh, High Priestess with us. At this point, I'm starting to think we we start re-rolling the library books to get less books in our rotation because we have the opportunity to do so. Like, we've already re-rolled at least two or three books. Three keys here is really nice. I'm gonna try it. I believe in the power of the Magic Mushroom. You know what, we have 46 cents. Let's take Liberty Cap. Bad Gas, not... Exceptionally important for us. It's a much larger floor than I thought it would be. I knew it was an XL floor. You know, I knew it would be big. I didn't think it would be this big. Poor damage. And without guaranteed respawns, you know, 3 HP is where I can start to be a little bit worried about what's happening here. I'm not going to reroll the library because there's only one book in it. If there was more than one book in it, I'd be all over it. And we have a shop coming up. Oh, I love it, man. That's why I'm so happy to see so many golden chests. Yeah, okay, we're, we're swapping trinkets like crazy here. But uh, Mom's Pearl is probably better for us. Big Fan, a lot of people don't really love it. I really love Big Fan. Doesn't do that much damage, but uh, nice little defensive pickup. I mean by really love it, I don't mean it's an S tier item. I mean it's a C tier item that I have a strong affinity for. 
you know? I know Cheez-Its are not necessarily the most superb food on the planet from a, an haute cuisine standpoint. That doesn't stop me from enjoying their uh, cheese plus corn syrup baked in a wheat crust flavor. I got really scared there as I hurtled towards that without uh, realizing that it could have possibly exploded in my face. You know, we did pick up Cricket's head, but we're still missing an all-important element. Where's our free magic mushroom game? Bad trip? Unacceptable. Alright, we'll take starter deck. We'll... okay. Two of spades. I think I'll just pop it right now. We'll take blue map. And then we'll get out of here. We got one last... Second secret room. Do we want it? I would I would like to get it. Yeah. Was there a bomb for sale on our shop? I would assume that that's probably in the cards. Was there a charge as well? No. Oh, now it's a rune. Okay. Ansus. Use that on the next floor. And we still have a chance to... Oh, there's no arcade necessary. Okay, 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 okay. Long floor. Accomplished a lot. Cricket's head, probably the best thing we got, though. And that's a nice little fly army. So we got... Low HP, don't really need that. Low HP, High Priestess, Ansus, and a real chip on our shoulder moving forwards here. Good trinkets, good damage, really good chance at a deal with the devil on the next floor, and a real hankering for nine lives if we can swing it. Honestly, I don't think we're, we're that slow. We're about 40 seconds behind, but it was, I mean, we're not A, looking necessarily for the boss room, but also like... We spend a lot of time on that floor doing things we don't always do on the average floor. So I think in terms of like the time taken to beat a floor, we're probably a little bit ahead of the curve as opposed to behind it. Um, I don't know how that one enemy died, by the way. <laughs> they just seem to die when their friend died. I guess maybe I hit them with like a, a tier that I wasn't paying attention to. It does happen from time to time. Now let's do old school vanilla meta. I don't take advantage of this as often as I should anymore, but it was clutch back in the day. Save these uh, terminal rooms that you don't have to go to, now that we have the ability to see everything, and uh, build your rerolls as productively as possible. So we'll have a reroll here that we're not going to be able to immediately use, unfortunately, but uh, at least we're not generating like two rerolls that are just waiting in the wings here for, for no reason. Man, that was really dumb of me. I was going to say really unlucky, but, you know, let's call it like it is. That was That was real dumb. No black hearts there is extremely unfortunate. One and a half spirit hearts with a little bit of Bob's brain has me feeling a little bit anxious about the future, although mostly still pretty okay. We got enough keys to go to our shop and our item room for sure. We got that guy maybe giving us an HP upgrade. Mr. Boom is pretty terrible. We don't have any bombs, but I'm still just... Yeah, I'm going to take the opportunity to reroll him right away. Before we go to our shop, I'm going to... Oh, watch out for Bob's brain. Before I go to our shop, I'm going to... Or before I play the judgment, I'm going to go to our shop. That's what I'm trying to spit out here. Just in case there's a, uh, exactly the two items we would have wanted to see in there. Fantastic. We might have to buy a reroll uh, in time for our boss fight. That's fine. This has been a kind of staggering pickup here. I'll just use it right away. Um, yeah, let's let's go either get a penny or just get the rerolls necessary. I think we'll probably just go get the rerolls necessary, save our money for possibly paying this judgment and getting a good payout there. Another key. Nothing wrong with that. If we wanted to be, we could be out of here just in time, but I might want to play the, uh, like, just in time to be on pace for the boss rush room. But I may want to... Um, Play that judgment, get an HP upgrade or something. Compass, anything along those lines would be awesome. That is a huge pickup, by the way. So we got one more room to go to down here. Hive Mind is gonna sort this out super easy, and don't even get me started on the piercing shots. On Sue's High Priestess. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of High Priestess and take two world cards with me. I think those are really valuable. Uh, the High Priestess is a better card, I think, on its own merits, but. We don't really need the damage from it at all when I'm thinking about it. I'm like, what do I need that for? I'm already going to kill these enemies in like three seconds each. High Priestess might shorten that a little bit. Okay, well, the no-brainer pickup here is obviously Ceremonial Robes. Because it gives us the HP back, but better. I can't take Death's Touch, unfortunately. 
I I really wish I could. It'll it'll kill us. I since you have no idea how painful that one is for me. <laughs> I would very much love to have picked up Death's Touch, one of my favorite items in the game. But I can't be too salty. Our reroll ended up working out very nicely for us. And you know what? If they if we get HP on the way back and they let us back in, which I'm sorry, that was stupid. Which I'm skeptical of. Um, but if they did. We could take it now, but uh, I think we made the right decision there, the decision that's going to allow us to, to stay in this game. Which is not to say that we're in a bad position at all, like we're not up against it. We only would have been up against it if I had taken it, so. I, I made the responsible adult decision there that is probably not super popular, but is, is going to be the difference between, you know, my success and my failure. I was actually hoping that would be a demon judgment, but now that I think about it, there's nothing we can really do about that unless we find a random book of shadows or something. Golden key. Eh, I would say too little too late, but it doesn't really matter all that much either way. And that's gonna do it for this floor. We're gonna try playing the judgment. I don't think it's gonna work out, but that's alright. If he even pays out with a bomb, we could make this work for ourselves, but for now. And I, I would still love that door to be open. If I could get Death's Touch, I would love to, but it's very unlikely. Ah, nice surprise. Okay. We don't have a Whore of Babylon or anything like that. That ended up working out very nicely for us. Eight keys. Ooh, not letting us back in. That's fair. You know, we had our window. I chose not to take it. Probably would have survived. Maybe wouldn't have. Pop our world card and, uh, yeah, let's get going over here to the boss trap room. You know, one of the advantages of being low on red hearts is that we can take advantage of stuff like this. If we don't immediately need the consumables, I'll just leave them here for the way back so we can pick them up on our... You know, victory lap. Terrible item. Interesting item. Yeah, yeah, this is weird. It's a real shame now that we don't have Death's Touch, because that would have been hilarious. But uh, this this has the potential to create some, some novelties in and of itself, so I like that a lot. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying <laughs> it's it's very, very interesting. Alright, so we're gonna say no to boss rush probably here, which means if we're saying no to boss rush Why don't I say hello to every single room that we come across and that golden key now makes it conceivable for me to open golden chests hoping for That's a good question. <laughs> we already got cricket said we can already fly so we don't need fate um, You know we have d6 so Tammy's head is not necessarily amazing. I might give it a shot though I don't know able and infamy Seems a little boring, right? Let's say golden chest for even more consumables. How's about that? And even with Tiny Planet, we're doing really well here on damage. It's just a little, a little harder to hit things. But in a way, it also insulates me from myself, you know? I'm not as likely to hit myself with Bob's brain because I'm going to be facing away from enemies for the most part. Okay, item room and shop are over here on the left, so those are going to be my first priority. Sneak in one of those there, and really, like, we can we can afford to fuck around because it's just flies. Like, the, the flies are going to be our principal damage dealers by an enormous factor. So as long as I'm still creating those, we're pretty much set. It is harder to hit enemies, though. We got him? Yeah, we got him. Okay, yeah, fat odd mushroom. No need to reroll that. And no greed fight. No greed fight, but also nothing really of value. That's okay. Well, nothing that we can afford anyway. There is a reroll back there. If I could, I would. Uh, but there's nothing really to reroll right now. Fat Odd Mushroom is totally nice. I'm very happy to have it. Wiggle Worm. I don't know. I think I gotta. St because we don't have respawn items, I gotta stick with my ability to survive right now as like a huge crux of this run. So I don't wanna give up Mom's Pearl. Uh, I think I already made my one irresponsible crazy decision by taking tiny planet when I like let's be honest should not have but it'll be fun I think as a result tower card that eh, is what it is use it here and that should give us whatever's inside of that two extra bombs well, basically if you got three bomb drops from a room you'd be pleased it's just because of the potential value of the um, the card that it seems bad figured we play it once got two bombs out of it and there's our greed fight. That's why we didn't fight greed in our shop. It seems so likely. 
All right, we do have two orbitals, so the mom fight is going to be easy. Uh, just don't accidentally use Bob's brain on, like, when you're going in for the kill. That was so easy. Yeah. All right, beautiful. Let's do this. We save our Ansu rune and we use it on the cathedral. Definitely do not use it on this floor. <laughs> I was, I would have liked to have. An awkward sentence a little bit. I almost just used my D6. That would have been uh, not a great use, if I had to be honest, I think. Two of spades. I'll double that right away. Look, I do care about min-maxing my, my key usage. At the same time, there's no blank Cardiera showing up to bail us out here, boys. We might as well be happy with uh, having 26 keys and keeping an inventory space free for something else later instead of, you know, waiting on the world to change. I love John Mayer as much as the next guy, which is a lot, but come on. Same thing for Hierophon. I'm going to pop Hierophon right away. Lucky Bob's brain shot will save me some flies in there. And, man, that was awesome. We've had our boss fight so quickly. And, of course, we're hoping for a deal with the devil. And we did not get one. We can live with that. Life, life goes on. We can't be that much behind the boss rush curve. Yeah, we're only at 22 minutes and we've done a floor since. That's kind of crazy. I should have known that this would not be the right way. <laughs> I looked at blue map and was like, there's no way that, you know, I've seen some weird floors in my day, but come on. Two of hearts, I'm really holding out hope that we get a joker card, but hasn't happened as of yet. You never think about this, but on a run where I'm doing so much damage, the number one virtue for me right now is still patience. All I'm waiting for is the flies to hit things. If I can uh, just keep myself on the move, then I have pretty much no risk myself of, uh, of losing, maybe getting hit. You know, secret room, second secret room. At this point, who am I trying to impress? Two of diamonds. Might as well pop that right away. You know, fuck it. Let's check out our secret room. Kind of just laziness speaking. Don't really need that. And... Can get basically no value out of that, but I'm glad I checked anyway. Alright, two of hearts card. We are almost already done with this fight, which is kind of hilarious. I've that is the first time I think I've ever seen mom's heart not just be like, okay, we gotta like sink back up in ourselves. She just decided to stand there for a second. I don't know what was up with that, but I guess I'm happy that it happened that way. Alright, pop the Ansu rune. And we're gonna be doing a lot of dipping and doodling here. It's going to be a little bit like smoking tobacco and uh, being four years old and in kindergarten at the same time. And by smoking tobacco, I mean chewing tobacco. What can I say? I don't know what I'm talking about all the time. Um, thank you. I don't know how Quad Shot Tiny Planet is going to work for us. It looks like the shots kind of come out as one and then deviate from one another. That's cool with me, man. It's kind of interesting. And we are actually at the HP cap now, which is a little surprising keep picking up the bombs. If we get sad bombs with this combination, I'll want to have as many bombs as is possible because this is a an absurd kind of combination for that. I love weird sad bombs combinations. I'd, you know, old men of a certain, well not old men necessarily, but men of a certain age tend to become, you know, they all have one weird hobby. They all go home and they do something that, well not necessarily like illegal or anything like that, is kind of just like considered ec eccentric. Trains are a classic example. Lots of uh, lots of people, not necessarily just men, but lots of people love trains. Um, and everybody else is like, I don't get it at all. Lots of people go home, you know, uh, they leave a job that they don't necessarily like, and they go home and fly five hours from L.A. to San Francisco, or, or L.A. to New York. Uh, I'm going to take this to the chest. It'll be weird. Um... They fly L.A. to New York in, in X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? I would be the guy who's sitting there with, like, pictures of sad bomb runs, trying to, like, divine the synergies that were present within them. Maybe I should just buy, like, a, a track IR and get into one of the other ones. So I don't know how our luck stat looks on this run. But, uh, I'm thinking we beat the whole chest... Didn't, did I not kill everything there? Maybe their animations were done. I think we beat the whole chest, except for Blue Baby. And then we forget me now, so we can get like the maximum amount of, uh, of chests possible. Alright, I forgot you can't shoot with the chariot card, so... This was actually like a really dumb decision in the whole scheme of things that very much slowed me down. Most important thing is that we just get a lot of shots in the air. 
Of course, if it looks like we're gonna have a chance of death, and that's like a, a theoretical possibility, then uh, I'll just beat the run. You know, that's my number one priority here. We killed Ghost Isaac, and then we'll head down to the next floor. But for now, uh, with Tiny Planet, our chances of winning increase as uh, as we get more synergies. So Magic Mushroom, Infestation 2, and Demon Baby are lovely items. Come over anytime. Isaac's heart, I hope you think long and hard about your usefulness to this team and decide that we do want you, but you're going to have to think uh, about the role that you're going to have to occupy if you're still going to be useful to us, because right now you're a piece of shit and I hate you. That might be my favorite joke archetype, is like, diplomatic... You know, insult turns into just straight up assholery. Oh my god. Infestation 2, man. That one shove, I actually feel bad. It had no idea what hit it. That was Chad, anyway. But I feel bad for Chad and Shub in this situation. Oh, yes! Give us the spiders, please! Bum 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 Mr. Spiders! Bring me a dream. Bring me the femurs of the enemies you've seen. I don't remember the rest of the words to Mr. Sandman, but... Good times. Spiders are almost as tall as I am. It's freaking me the fudge out. I'm going to be very disappointed if I go through this labyrinthine thing here to get more tiny planet synergies and I end up only getting the four chests that we got on the chest. Now, I mean, those were great chests, don't get me wrong. However, at the same time, give me some more items at the same time. At the same time. Where's my items? The spiders are great. I mean, they're better than almost any item in the game could be. Unicorn, uh, unicorn horn, no thank you. That's our second secret room. Don't care so much about that. Go back for the key at the very least, and there's our boss fight. I mean, we could kill Blue Baby, obviously, easily. Where are you? Oh, there you are. But we're gonna forget me now. Pick up at the very least four more items. Could be better. Okay. Yeah, I mean, those are actually all pretty good. And, I don't know, maybe we can reroll consumables into chests? I don't know if it's possible, but... If it is, I'd like to. And we'll start rebuilding uh, Spider Army here, here again. Already got something ridiculous, like 15 or 20 rattling around just from killing Chubb slash Chad there. I don't want to reroll these until we have like one rune that's really good for them. Like a Yara rune, then D20 something. I, although I guess if we have a Yara rune, we'd probably want to, you know, just use it on our chests. Okay. Uh, disappointing. This is obviously not the room where we want to be, but it's all good. I'm taking a little bit of damage. This could go sour, but I'd really, I'd have to brick it on like every single room coming up. Because I'm not taking more than one hit on many rooms, considering how much damage we can put out quickly. I think it's absolutely conceivable, maybe even likely, that we're going to end up being paralyzed by like waiting for a good room for D20. But I think the... It's one of those items that you really get a benefit the the more you the, the more fodder you have for, you know what I mean? So I would almost rather not use it than use it and miss out on a chance to reroll a bunch of different things. Didn't even pick that up. I don't care. What's your problem? Can we still use it on a tower card? Okay, this room is it's acceptable, I think. And oh, fantastic. That worked out majestically for us. That'll be the end of that, I guess. Still, uh, you know, Cool synergies, cool items. A very weird run, but not a bad Tiny Planet run. As much as I wish that, that uh, maybe I did go with uh, Death's Touch. Although we might be dead if we had done that. Yeah, this is going to be weird. I think our range as of now might be like zero. <laughs> but our shots just kind of hanging in the air isn't necessarily a bad thing either. Got to be closing in on our boss fight. Ah, there it is right there. All right, this is going to be uh, our 11th win in a row. Couldn't just drop coins, could you? It's going to be our 11th win in a row. That's pretty solid, man. And uh, most of them have carried some degree of absurd batshit crazy luck on them, but not all of them, <laughs> technically. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.